And this first death from Omicron comes as doctors at Deaconess confirm the Omicron variant is now here in the tri-state. Doctors say they sent a batch of random positive tests to the lab and 12% of those tests came back positive for Omicron. They say Omicron is much more transmissible because it replicates the virus in the lungs, which then means most of the virus is being put out into the environment when someone coughs or sneezes. When it comes to holiday gatherings, health officials are saying get tested before leaving for the event. But they say if, you, if you're using a at-home test, be sure to test yourself closer to the gathering instead of a day or two before. Then you would need to use that test really close to the time that you're going to attend that event. So with some of the outbreaks that have been seen in other countries where they do take an antigen-based testing approach, um, they found that when you take that test, and it's earlier in the day or maybe the day prior, it's not as good as, it is not as good at picking up a positive. Um, and so you can then go on to spread that thinking that you're negative because you tested too early. And Dr. Abbott says it's too early to tell if Omicron is contributing to hospitalization rates at Deaconess. But she told Eyewitness News there has been a 5% spike in the flu and other respiratory illnesses since masking and other restrictions have been lifted throughout the year. 